welcome back trust me this is going to be the easiest method you can trust in drafting out your padded blouse the length is 23 inches this is my 23 inches and plus 2 inches allowance to fold the fabric I'll need to fold using the bust measurement since it's a blouse and like a normal bodies the bust measurement plus 8 divided by 4 or your normal bust measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches now because it's padded I added extra 2 inches so that means I have 12.5 inches bust is 34 plus 8 divided by 4 is 10.5 inches plus my 2 inches allowance making 12.5 inches so the first thing I'm going to do is to rule out my two inches extra so this is my two inches extra the length is 23 and i had an extra two inches to make it 25 so this is my 25 inches and the extra two inches the normal length 23 plus extra extra two inches for my folding in the under bust length is 12 inches and I need to consider the joining on the shoulder so I added half an inch so that makes it 12.5 inches so this is my under bust length then I need to take the armhole length which is 8.5 inches constant measurement and you can always then I need to take my arm o length 8.5 inches constant and you can always add or reduce for children depending on the size so this is my 8.5 inches now we have the 8.5 for ham o we have 12.5 on the bust we have the normal length of 23 inches and I also have the 2 inches extra that I added to the length. Now the next thing we're going to do is take the circumference measurement. First we need to take the shoulder and all my measurements to start from this, to start from this mark which is an extra 2 inches I marked out. So the shoulder divided by 2 is 7 inches. 7 inches the 7 inches straight down so I can mark this out then take 1.5 inches 1.5 inches and if you have your arm o curve you can just bring out your if you have your arm o curve, you can just make use of it. Then on this on this point, I'm going to take the bust measurement. So I'll just take my bust plus eight divided by four, and that is ten point five inches. Ten point five inches. Then below my under bust length, I'll take the under bust circumference measurement, and that is plus 8 divided by 4. I have 8.5 inches. And almost at the base at the base of um almost at the end of my blouse, I'll take the waist measurement plus 8 divided by 4, and that is 9 inches. So I'm going to connect from the bust to the under bust, then to the waist now. So you can just sketch it out in the absence of your cuff set. You can sketch it out like this. And in case you have your Alright, so this is our normal um, 
normal body measurements of a blouse. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to cut this out first so that we can concentrate more on this. Next, you're going to fold based on the nipple to nipple measurement. You have to measure to get that. Now, the nipple to nipple measurement I'm working with here is 7 inches. That means I need to fold 3.5 inches. And also, we need to add half an inch allowance to that. So, to make it 4 inches. I folded my 4 inches. This is my 4 inches. Next, I'm going to mark out the shoulder. You can take shoulder to nipple point and you can as well take from under bust to the, the nipple point. And the measurement I'm working with here is 3 inches. This is 3 inches, which is the nipple point. So you can measure from the shoulder to the nipple point or from the under bust to the nipple point. Now, from the base of the dress, I'm going to take 3.5 inches 3.5 inches i'm marking it all the way straight up to the under bust 3.5 inches 3.5 now this is my under bust line so that my 3.5 inches stops at the under bust line then on the neck i'm going to take three inches three inches three inches on the neck now this is my nipple point measured from the under bust i'm going to connect this All the way to the under bust then from the under bust i'll curve it to the nipple point then also from the nipple point straight to the neck line so you can as well sketch it out you can sketch it out just like this and you can make use of your curve so i'm going to trace this now, at the under bust measurement from the mark, from the point where I mark, I'll go in by 0 0.25. 0 0.25. So that I can connect to the very edge of this, just like this. Then my curve part comes from that mark, the 0 0.25 that I mark, then connects back to the normal measurement. And now we can cut. Here on the shoulder, I'm going to take one inch. I'm going to take one inch and slant. I'll slant to this end to cut. And now I need to work on this alone. From here, I'm going to bring out the depth and the neck design. You can decide to go for any neck design of your choice. And I'm going to work with 
6 inches as the length. This is my 6 inches. And I'll be working with a sweetheart neck. So for a sweetheart neck, once I have 6 inches here, I'll take 5 inches on the other side. You can still decide to take another measurement. You can go for a round neck or V-neck or anything of your choice. So I'm going to curve it out. To meet my mark point just like this and how cuts so let's open to see what we have 